You know, there is somebody we lost in this recent time that till now Nigeria is still trying to recover from um, late Habak Migwe. And uh, great man, till now, I will not lie to you, I still uh, wake up to ask a lot of questions. Um, but there was somebody during his tribute and, you know, um, a man, if, if not one of the most important person that spoke that night uh, in that hall, and that was his PA. Now, his PA is someone that know this man inside out. In fact, he has access to his, you know, private places like his room, you know, he was that close to the man. He knows what the man takes for breakfast. He knows how he likes his coffee. He knows every single thing about this man. And you could tell when he was giving his own side of the story, how close he was with this man. There was no doubt that he was close to this man. And uh, you will only be a fool if you don't believe the things that come out of his mouth because he has stayed with this man for the longest time. People around know him as late Habak Mewe's personal assistant. Now, I see most people doubt the existence of Jesus Christ. I see most people say, uh, what is even proof that Jesus ever existed? Were you there? Were you there when this? Were you there when that? Um, this is what I will say to you. If you would not even believe the existence of Jesus, that he once walked on this earth, there have been empirical knowledge and archaeological evidence and findings that have shown for a fact that he had people that walked with him. He had disciples that were doing their own thing and in the course of their life became one of his closest pe people. And what shocked me and what made me, aside from the fact that I know that Jesus exists because of my own experiential knowledge, is that these men that have been recorded as the followers of Jesus so preached the gospel of Jesus Christ after Jesus ascended into heaven to the point of death. Now, I don't know who you are, but if you hear about anybody that believed in something so much so that he gave his life for that same cause, you cannot call that person a joker. You cannot call somebody that said, rather than you kill me the same way you crucified Jesus, turn my cross upside down. You cannot tell me about somebody that was jailed multiple times not to preach the gospel of Jesus. But the moment he was released, he went straight into preaching the gospel. You cannot tell me about somebody that willingly gave his neck to be beheaded because of this same gospel of Jesus. If you see men that die for something they believe in, you better know that they are aware of what they are talking about. If you would not believe that Jesus in himself existed and lived on this earth and is coming back soon will his disciples that walked with him to the point of their death not convince you now i also see some of you say oh this christianity thing is a western religion i came from the white man it's a white man's religion first of all you failed geography because if you know anything about geography you understand that the geographical place where Jesus was born was not in America or in Europe. Jesus was not a Caucasian. The geographical place by empirical knowledge is a place called the Middle East. And if you know anything about the Middle East, they are not white people. And for some of you that say that, yes, the gospel is also from the Western world, how can you say that? When, if, for example, I use this pen, this pen, let's say, was manufactured in Egypt. And the manufacturer got the best marketers to manufacture this pen. And these marketers took this pen to the utmost part of the world. They spread the gospel of this pen to China, to Korea, to America, to Europe. And somebody in Europe, because the product was so good, took this same product to Africa and shared about this product and why you need this product. Would you say because the person that brought this product from Europe 
that the product is from Europe. No, the product originally is from a place called Egypt. When you say that the Western world brought Christianity, you are lying. It's not true. Christianity came to them. And just like I'm doing now, nobody hears the good news of Jesus Christ and not share it. That is why it's called the good news. That a man gave his life on the cross just because of you and I. The new thing now by this generation is that they claim that they want to follow their ancestor's step in tradition. You think you're more tra you think you love tradition more than me. You think you 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 like culture more than me. You think you're more evil than me. You hide in you hide your your sin in in these platforms to justify the evil you do. You go to do rituals to make money to buy the bands and to buy the iPhones by the Western world, but you claim you're a traditionalist, you're a hypocrite. And if truly you want to really focus on the whole mindset of I am a traditionalist, I want to follow my forefather's steps, there is a movement our four forefathers followed, I want to follow that. Are you not a hypocrite? If you will say that just to cover up your sin and remain in your sinful nature, but you use the same technology that was made by the Western world, by the white man, you claim you don't want to follow his steps. Are you not a hypocrite when you say that you don't want to follow a white man and you don't speak in your native language? Why are you speaking English to me when you are trying to make argument of how you don't want to follow what is coming from the white man's land? Are you not a hypocrite that you are living in a house that was designed by the Western style and has AC created by the Western world, and you claim you want to be in the traditional aspect of things. Go to the mud houses and live now. Those are where your forefathers lived. Go back to the mud houses since you don't want the development from the Western world. It's quit being a hypocrite and give your life to Jesus. Because what the devil does is that whenever he wants to justify sin, he hides it in such type of things. Jesus is real, my friends. And it's hard time you start realizing that and give your life to Christ. I always say this, and I'll leave you like this. I say, it is not better that you give your life to Christ, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, die and find out that none of it exists. That not to believe, say that Jesus doesn't exist, and not give your life to Christ and take your last breath and find out that the very mi microsecond you take your last breath here, you're waking up in another world where everything you rejected existed. The problem with the second one is that it's going to be too late. And for some of you that say Jesus will not come in my time, we've been hearing this for a long time. You might be correct. If Jesus tarries, you might not see him come down from heaven as the Bible states in Revelations. But guess what? If Jesus does not come in your time, when your time is up, you will go to him and you will give account of what you did with your life. So you need to realize that any which way you're going to meet Jesus. There's a generation of people that needs to be preserved and those are the people I'm making these videos for. There are some values and morals that have been thrown away from our homes and that needs to come back parents we need to do better this was not how your parents trained you there were so many values and morals that was put in to being who you are today we use i grew up in a time where fellowship was something house sales was something i grew up in a time where even our parents recognized that jesus but now And after the generation of Joshua, the dead generation did not know God. And that was where the problem started with the children of Israel. May we not raise a generation that don't know on it or, or recognize the importance and existence of the kingdom of God.